What's up guys, welcome to another gear review episode. Today I'm super stoked because I finally got one of these. And this is the new Moment 58mm Tele. And uh, I'm really excited to test this out. So let's get into it, shall we? I'm gonna use the drift method. Freaking incredible. Ground F16 for that to get that sunburst. Yeah. So this is it. This is the lens. And just from feeling it, wow. This thing is heavier than I expected. It's built like a tank. It's beautiful. The glass looks amazing. So one of the things that I'm stoked about is this is supposed to be much sharper and it's made for the newer sensors on the phones which are bigger and so unlike their old 60 mil you're not going to have that fall off in sharpness and IQ. It's supposed to be sharp all around so the other thing that I'm really stoked about with this thing is that if you guys if you guys follow my channel you probably know how much I love long lenses. I use long lenses per, as much as possible. I always have one with me whether it's the 400 back there or the 200 or 600 or whatever i love long lenses so uh i also like long lenses with phones and um i think they're super versatile so i'm really stoked to use this for a lot of people are going to use this for portraits and i definitely am going to use it for portraits but i'm also going to use it for landscapes i'm also going to use it for pseudo macro type stuff because i have the because i have this guy the samsung galaxy s9 plus and it does have the built-in tele lens on here. So when you combine the 2X tele lens that's in here and then combine it with the 58 mil, you're getting pretty much a four times uh, zoom effectively. So the great thing about that that I think some people might not realize is that when you want a more natural looking blurred out background, phones have a really hard time with that because their sensors are so small. And even though it says F1.8 or F1.5 in this case for the phone, you really have to take in consideration sensor size and really that equates to a 35 millimeter equivalent of like an f10 or something so that's why even when you shoot wide open with this thing with the f1.5 aperture you're still not getting that depth of field that you would with a dslr or a bigger camera but one thing that can help with that is lens compression and with lens compression the more telephoto of a lens you have the more compression you're going to get and that's going to help fight that small sensor size and give you a more pleasing blurred out background it's still not going to look like a dslr but it's going to be a lot nicer than with just the phone so i really love lens compression i did a whole video on that if you guys want to know more about it and how it works and see the effects of it you can check that out right up here all right, so I'm gonna do two things in this review. I'm gonna shoot some kind of stuff around the house and some pseudo macro stuff and just some regular pictures and so you guys can see how that kind of stuff is done. And then we're gonna go out and I'm gonna do a little bit of hiking and go out to one of my favorite trails and do some landscapes and some natural portraits and stuff like that. And uh, I might even go to the skate park or something and maybe uh, shoot Tristan skating or have Brittany shoot me skating or something but I'm gonna have just kind of a bunch of images and I have I'm gonna put all of these images in the image gallery that I created for so there's a link down below and you guys can see all those images in more detail uh, rather than just the few seconds that they're up here on the video so that'll be in the description below so you can check that out <laughs> All right, so there's those images uh, from just around the house and some random stuff, uh, skateboarding and whatnot. So now let's go outside and see what we can do with some more natural portraits and some landscape type stuff. Oh, one more thing. Uh, you do need the case for this. So this is a moment case. So you do need the case 
for that and the, they don't support all phones unfortunately so you're just gonna have to go to their website I've got a link to their website down below if you want to check out all of their stuff to see what phones they have I know they support most of the new Samsung's uh, definitely the newer iPhones and stuff and the pixel phone which I have the pixel 3 back here somewhere and I've got its case coming as well so you do need a case um, but the case is really well made I really like it uh, it's super soft I really like the feel of the buttons it um, it feels pretty similar to my tech 21 case that I have which was a kind of a slim tactical case uh, so I'm really liking it and basically the lens just clips in there real nice and they have this uh, thing where you can just line it up and click it in and that's super nice so it makes it real easy to uh, switch out if you've got more than one of these things but you do need a case and they're I think they're 30 bucks for all the cases for whichever your phone is so I don't think the price changes all right now let's go inside All right, well, the sun's going down. We got a lot of good stuff. Uh, it was real fun to get out here with this for the first time. Initial thoughts are, I'm really stoked about this. I really love its versatility. Uh, I just think the versatility is fantastic for the portraits, the landscapes, the macro, all that good stuff. So all of these were just uh, kind of some quick snapshots on my, on my uh, Galaxy S9 Plus. And I'm gonna do a lot more with this. Uh, I'm gonna do some more videos on it and do some more in-depth things. I'm going to do some videos with the Pixel 3 in portrait mode and the moment lens and uh, I'm going to compare it to the S9 Plus with the moment lens and do some of those. If you have any questions about the lens or the camera or anything that I did or whatever just leave those in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them. So if you like this stuff and you want to see more definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I'll have more videos on the moment and the S9 Plus and the Pixel 3 and all that good stuff coming up here real quick. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.